Hey guys, garage sale tip number six. So we have all of our stuff priced. We're looking good. Everything's looking clean, right? That's what y'all did. Y'all ready for y'all's garage sale? Well, don't forget to advertise. Let's talk about advertising, guys. First of all, make sure to put an ad in with your local whatever paper is like the main garage sale paper. Like the one here, it's called the Quick Quarter. I remember... I think it was last garage sale, maybe the garage sale before that, whenever I was helping somebody bring stuff to their car, I would ask him, oh, where'd you hear about the garage sale? And most of them, the majority of them said they heard about it from the Quick Quarter, which is the newspaper that's free here that lists garage sales and stuff like that. So make sure to figure out which paper is the one that you need to put your ad in and then put your ad in it. <laughs> Don't forget. Uh, also, whenever you're making your ad, don't forget to put the day the date and the time. Last garage sale, I forgot to put the date in there. And so I, some people were showing up on Friday. They're like, hey, you having a garage sale? We saw it in the thing, blah, blah, blah. And uh, yeah, it wasn't there. So, but we still had a good turnout, which was exciting. So uh, we made that happen. That was good, even though we uh, messed up the date. So make sure to get your ad done. Then after you've done your newspaper ad, don't forget to do this online go online and post some stuff uh go to craigslist is what i usually use also use facebook too because sometimes my friends may want to come and buy stuff or people that i'm acquainted with <laughs> acquaintances with would want to come in and rummage through our stuff so uh make sure to go on craigslist and put that you're having a garage sale we and also another tip for you guys Call your garage sale a multi-family garage sale. If you can get, you know, your, maybe you and your family and then maybe get like somebody else who's bringing some other stuff in. Like my sister's coming to bring stuff. My mom might come and bring stuff. That becomes a multi-family garage sale and that looks a little bit better, I think, because it means like you're going to have a lot of stuff, which we're going to have a lot of stuff. So title it multi-family garage sale if you can. And then in the listing, and then I, I put my address on Craigslist. Um, so uh, I guess some people might want to do that some people may not I, it kind of depends on when you want to list the ad like I did ours yesterday on Tuesday so Wednesday Thursday Friday it gives us four days for it to kind of go through the feeds and whatnot so sometimes people may not want to put their address on that early I mean last, last you could do it last minute too like you know Friday hook it up and book it up but uh, in your ad, this is what I do for my ad. So I put, you know, we're having a garage sale, going to be on the 12th from here's the time, dates, all that mess. Uh, <laughs> don't come Friday. We will not be set up. We're setting up late Friday, early Saturday, because last time I had some people come and they were like, oh, what kind of furniture do you have? And I was like, I don't know. It's not here yet. <laughs> so... Um, and then I put why. I put why we're having a garage sale. And I put we're following the Dave Ramsey Total Money Makeover to help us pay off some debt. Because I think sometimes whenever people hear a why, why you're doing something, they're more inclined to like want to be a part of it and want to help you out and all that kind of stuff. So uh, give people a reason why they should come to your garage sale. Then I took the time, probably about 30 minutes or so maybe, and I listed out a bunch of stuff that we have for sale. And I kind of categorized, like we have furniture. We have some chairs and tables, computer desks, whatever. We have clothes, tools. We've got computer and computer parts, kitchenware, entertainment stuff, boating and fishing, home decor, beauty and bath. And at the bottom, I put, and so much more as it gets closer to Saturday, I'll update this list. Hope to see you early there. Or hope to see you there early, but not too early. <laughs> Don't show up too early. So that's how my ads look. Oh, another thing that I'm going to do is whenever it gets closer uh, to where we have stuff out and whatnot, probably like Friday, maybe maybe Thursday, I will make a video of some of the stuff that we have posted on YouTube and then post that link into the Craigslist ad so that people can actually see, get a visualize, visualization of what we actually have uh, that we're going to be selling at the garage sale. So couple of tips for you there whenever you're working on your ads. Hopefully this helps. Have you guys been liking these garage sale tips? They've been kind of fun doing them. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any tips, I should have been asking this all along. If you guys have any tips, leave them down in the comments below so that you guys can help me out and then I can make a video about the tips and I can help everybody else out. 
All right, guys. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Make sure to, to the funny rats. Make sure to go and check out that. It's right up there. You can click that. These little boxes up there. If you're on a computer, there's little boxes up here. And if you hover over and you click, like right here, ugh. Where is it? Right, oh, right there. Oh, right there. That's the funny rat. That's our daily vlog. If you want to actually, like, be here for the garage sale, basically, go and subscribe to that channel. We would definitely appreciate it. And that's where we get, we, we're, bringing you the, we're bringing you the funny. We're bringing you the funny on the funny rats. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see y'all later. Bye.